Our video tutorial is about uniformly accelerated motion. We define acceleration as the rate of change of speed per unit time. Uniform acceleration is equal or uniform rate of change of speed per unit time. We have here the symbol for initial speed, V sub O, its unit is meters per second. Final speed, B, meet the same unit. A, acceleration, the unit is meter per second squared. Positive A, is increasing speed negative a is decreasing speed d distance or displacement the unit is meter and t is time the unit is second these are the equations that we are going to use when we solve problems involving uniformly accelerated motion so for example a car changes its speed from 10 meters per second to 30 meters per second in 10 seconds a calculate its acceleration so this is the car initially it is moving at 10 meters per second after 10 seconds it moves with a speed of 30 meters per second we have to calculate its acceleration these are the equations of uniform accelerated motion we have to choose out from these equations a formula or equation that will solve for acceleration equation one is more appropriate it has initial speed final speed and time so we can solve for acceleration so substitute the final speed is 30 initial speed is 10 meters per second a unknown t is 10 seconds so simplify the equation transfer 10 meters per second to the left becomes negative simplify 30 minus 10 is 20 meters per second in this equation we will solve for the acceleration a Interchange the left and right numbers of the equation and solve for A, dividing both sides by 10 seconds. So, the acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. So, in other words, the acceleration of the car is 2 meters per second squared. Meaning, in every second, its speed is increased by 2 meters per second. So, after 1 second, 10 meters per second becomes 12 meters per second because there is an increase of 2 meters per second in every second after another 1 second 12 becomes 14 meters per second after another 1 second this 14 is increased again by 2 so 16 another 1 second 18 20 22 24 26 plus 2 28 meters per second plus 2 30 meters per second so its final speed after 10 seconds is 30 meters per second letter b calculate the distance traveled after 10 seconds so out of these equations we will choose either of second and third equation let us have the second equation so we need to determine the distance from zero time to 10 seconds we will use equation number two initial speed is 10 meters per second time is 10 seconds acceleration is 2 meters per second so substitute in this equation for distance then simplify cancel out common factors then simplify 10 times 10 is 100 cancel out seconds 10 square is 100 meters so the distance is 200 meters so this distance is 200 meters we can have equation 2 or solution number 2 using equation number 3 for distance getting the average between initial and final speed Substitute initial is 10 meters per second, final is 30 meters per second, divide by 2, time is 10 seconds, so 10 plus 30 is 40, divided by 2 is 20, times 10 is 200 meters, we cancel out seconds, so that is, that this is, so this is solution number 2. Next. Problem number two, a car initially moving with a speed of 40 meters per second was stopped in a distance of 100 meters. A, calculate its acceleration. So this is the distance covered by the, the distance traveled by the car. Its initial speed is 40 meters per second until it stops. 
its final speed is zero in a distance of 100 meters. We will calculate the acceleration. Using these equations, we will choose the equation that is appropriate based on the given in the problem. We will use equation number four. Equation two, three, and four involves distance. So we will use equation four because we have initial speed and final speed. Equation number four involves initial and final speed. So substitute, final speed is zero. Initial speed is 40. Distance is 100 meters. Uh, let us simplify and in this equation, let us solve for A. So transfer this term to the left becomes negative and divide both sides of the equation by negative 200 meters. Simplify. The negative sign indicates the speed is decreasing. Letter B, how much time how much time does it take the car to stop? So we will use equation that involves time. Equation number one is more appropriate to use because we have initial and final speed and acceleration is solved in letter A. Substitute, final speed is zero, initial is 40 meters per second, acceleration is negative eight meters per second squared, solve 40 in this equation, transfer this term to the right, to the left becomes positive, divide both sides of the equation by eight meters per second squared, simplify, canceling out meter and one second, the time it takes for the car to stop is 5 seconds. So let us uh, have some more analysis of the problem. The time it takes to stop within 100 meters is 5 seconds. After 1 second, this speed, 40 meters per second, is decreased by 8 meters per second. So 40 minus 8 is 32 meters per second. After another one second, this is speed, 32 is decreased by 8 again. So 32 minus 8 is 24. After another one second, this 24 is decreased by 8 meters per second. So that is 16 meters per second. After another one second, 16 is decreased by 8. So it becomes 8. And another one second, this is decreased by 8. So, so it becomes 0. Next, the speedboat has a constant acceleration of positive 2 meters per second squared. If the initial velocity of the boat is positive 6 meters per second, find its displacement after 8 seconds. B, the final velocity of the speedboat. So this is the speedboat. Initially, it is moving. It, initially, it is moving with 6 meters per second and its acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. After 8 seconds, we will determine the distance covered by the speedboat. So from the equations of uniform accelerated motion, we can use based on the given initial acceleration and time We are solving for the displacement after 8 seconds. So we will use equation number 2. Substitute initial speed with 6 meters per second. Time is 8 seconds. Acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. And time is 8 seconds. Simplify. Cancel out seconds. So 6 times 8 is 48 meters. Cancel out further and seconds so this is 64 meters so 48 plus 64 meters is equal to 112 meters so this distance is 112 meters letter B the final velocity of the speedboat using equation number 1 initial speed is 6 meters per second acceleration is 2 meters per second squared time is 8 seconds 
So the final speed of the speed boat is 6 plus 16 meters per second is equal to 22 meters per second. So the final velocity is 22 meters per second. Increase of the speed of the speedboat in every second. So after one second, since it is accelerating with 2 meters per second squared, after one second, 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 meters per second. After another one second, 8 is increased by 2. So that becomes 10. After another one second, 10 is increased again by 2. It becomes 12 plus 2, 14 plus 2. 16 plus 2, 18 plus 2, 20 plus 2 is equal to 22 meters per second, the final speed of the speedboat. An airplane accelerates uniformly from rest at the rate of 5 meters per second squared, south for 14 seconds. What final velocity did it attain? So, here is the airplane starts from rest so its initial speed is zero its acceleration is five meters per second squared the time it takes to accelerate is 14 seconds so we have to determine the final velocity after 14 seconds so using the equations of uniformly accelerated motion or to solve for the final velocity we will use equation number one Initial speed is zero, acceleration is 5 meters per second squared, time is 10 seconds. So substitute, initial is zero, acceleration is 5, time is 14, simplify, final speed is 70 meters per second. So subscribe.